Hey, a uh, long time no talk <laughs> or here. It's uh, me again. Check out my um, board. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you haven't seen that I have gone off the board and up the wall now with my stickers. And I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, so we have some new business and we got some old business. And the old business is still kind of new business because it like just happened the other day. Which was like, what, Christmas Eve it happened? Bro, I gotta do this man justice. Troy Stacks sent me this Christmas card, right? And I am so special that I thought this was a magnet. And I was like, why is it so heavy? Why is it so heavy, right? Thought it was a magnet like dead ass thought it was a magnet and he's like look under the sticker he's like take the sticker off in your next video and of course i didn't wait till my next video to take the sticker off so we're gonna look what the dude sent me troy stacks time of troy sent me a full ounce uh not just any full ounce either an american silver eagle man a 2015 I, I cannot believe I missed this. Like, how stupid is that? That's, like, so ridiculous. Oh, I just... So, I posted on Instagram and stuff because I was so excited. I didn't have time to make a um, YouTube video when I found out. So, I just did a real quick post on Instagram thanking him. And um, so, now I have another sticker to put up on my board. And I got another ounce of silver to add to my stack and uh, I cannot thank you enough I mean I won the the most wonderful time of year ga for the first place prize and that's supposed to be coming and then this happened even before that it had to have because it got here so I, I'm just I was just speechless I no, I wasn't speechless. I freaked out. I totally freaked out and was hopping up and down. I was so excited about this. Um, I just want to say thank you so much again, Troy. Stax, uh, you, you blew my mind. You did. And Merry Christmas. So Christmas was yesterday. Um, I'm going to put that sticker on the wall after I'm done with this video. Um, I hope everybody had a great Christmas. So now that we adjusted that, um check out time of troy that's the channel name but his name is troy stacks and he is a delightful gentleman and his woman is delightful too lady stacks and i just yeah they're awesome people check it out uh, i will post a link in the description when i'm done with this let me tell you what i just got done doing though okay let me tell you a little something you know how i like to take notes and you know how I like to overdo things. So I went a little, a bit much on the notes. And I wrote the notes because I wanted to have something to talk about with my beautiful Australian shipwreck coins, right? I wanted to talk to you guys about it and, you know, give you like a background. But bro, bruh, bruh. There's too much background for me. Oh, just messed that up. For me to um, tell you all about. So I'm going to link the articles I was reading below in the video. I'm going to do a, like a real quick sweep of the Batavia. Um, where is it at? So long story short, the plain ones, they're supposed to be four, right? But they've only released three. There's the plain silver ones, the bullion ones. And there's the antique versions. And so there's a 20,000 mintage on the silver ones. Just, you know, like the regular silver ones. And then I want to try to show you without showing my whole face. Oh, damn, I did it anyway. I'm going to do it like that. I think I did it. I'll put a stick over it. Whatever. And let me try to do this justice. Okay, so this is the Batavia. 
I was reading some crazy stuff about it. Uh, so basically, like the commander, uh, I gotta, I don't know how I studied for like almost two hours and don't even remember what I wrote down. What a dork. I do know this. I know this. See how the writing is like that? Um, and then the ship is upside down. That is so you can um, view it like either way. And it tells the story that, you know, it's a shipwreck. It's at the bottom. It's like under the waves, right? And it's like that on all the coins. So this is the Batavi I'm going to show you right now. It's the antique and the uh, regular version. This is the antique. I like the antique better. I think it has more detail. Um, and here's the other side. The cool thing about this is it's not just a big picture of the queen, you know. The queen is at the top, but it also tells a story. And this one is like a whole bunch of stuff went down on this ship. I'm telling you. I just went through and took a bunch of notes. And so basically they sent some people for, for like food and water, right? Let me just read it real quick. Maybe. On June 4th, 1629, the Batavia was wrecked on the... Houtman Abrol's whatever cha a chain of small islands off the coast of Western Australia, right? As the ship broke apart, forty of the three hundred and forty-one passengers drowned in their attempts to reach land. So then, some little info right here. So it was wrecked June fourth, sixteen twenty-nine, and it says it. Where does it say sixteen twenty-nine? It should say it. Yep, it says it right there. 1629 and that's the other cool thing it says on all the coins and i will show you the other coins in a minute uh namesake batavia dutch east indies location wallaby group i don't know how to pronounce that anyway maiden voyage so your maiden voyage is like the first voyage right october 29th oh no yeah yeah did it did it sink on its maiden voyage? I don't know. That's why I'm going to I'm going to put the articles in there. You guys can look for yourselves. So, the Batavia was a ship of the Dutch East Indian Company built in Amsterdam in 1628 as the company's new flagship. She sailed that year on her maiden voyage for Batavia, capital of the Dutch East Indies. Okay, so Batavia was like a trading port right that's where they went to do all their trading stuff um but then this happened it gets worse so and i wrote this down like pretty much yeah word for word so don't get me for plagiarism because i'm gonna put the article in and i don't know how to do special effects stuff so that's why i wrote it down but it's a lot. So I didn't continue on with the other coins. I just did the Batavia. All right. So I'm um, story time now. Let me hold this so you guys can look at it while I'm talking about it. Maybe. How about how about I just go like this? You guys can look at it while I read it. All right. It gets worse. The ship's commander, Francisco Pelsert, sailed to Batavia to get help. He sailed there to Batavia to get help, right? But, uh, I hope you guys are still here with me. I'm having a crappy day. Okay, so he sailed to Batavia to get help. Leaving merchant Geronimus, <laughs> Geronimus Cornelius <laughs> in charge, which was a bad idea. Cornanananis sent, uh, he sent 20 people to nearby islands under the pretense of having them search for fresh water, abandoning them there to die. He then orchestrated a mutiny, um, that over course of several weeks, they was, they was shipwrecked for several weeks, you guys, resulted in the murder of approximately... 125 of the remaining survivors, including women, children, and infants. A small number of women were kept as sexual slaves. Now, let me, I'll explain that in a minute. Among, among them, the famed beauty Lucretia Jeans, who was, um, 
so the bad guy basically reserved the prettiest one for himself reserved by cornelius for himself okay meanwhile the men sent away had unexpectedly found water and after learning of the atrocities waged battles with the mutineers under soldier uh webby hayes we're gonna call him webby okay leadership so basically the dudes who went for the water they came back and saw that everything had gone awry and then they started fighting and then um in october at the height of their last and deadliest battle they were interrupted by the return of pelsert now pelsert i i can't remember these people like so pelsert i think was the commander right wasn't he the commander you guys are you with me we're just gonna keep going um so he came back on this ship called the sardin and then he subsequent subsequently tried and convicted cornelius which was the bad guy right and six of his men who became the first europeans to be legally executed in australia two other mutineers convicted of comparatively minor crimes so basically they didn't do as bad a stuff as he did but they were still convicted they were marooned on mainland um australia thus becoming the first europeans to permanently inhabit the australian continent of the original to see this is another discrepancy it says the original 332 people on board but didn't they just say that there was like 341 hmm 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 See, Wikipedia is not really all the way legit, I don't think. But anyway, the story goes, the original 332 people on board Batavia, only 122 made it to the port of Batavia. Associated today with one of the worst horror stories in maritime history, Batavia has been the subject of numerous published histories and, oh wait, histories, the earliest dating from 1647, Due to its unique place in history of European contact with Australia, the story of the Batavia is sometimes um, offered as an alternative founding narrative to the landing of British convicts in Sydney. So it's basically making it sound like, you know, some convicts came from Britain, Great Britain, whatever, British, but da da came from over there landed in sydney messed everything up that's what it sounds like to me but you're only getting part of the story because first of all it's wikipedia second of all we weren't there so we don't really know what happened the sex they slave thing kind of kind of had me like um yeah i don't know that sounds made up but really it doesn't sound made up because look at the kind of things that people have done to each other so yeah that that could be true many batavia artifacts including the ship's stern and skeletal remains from the massacre, are housed at the shipwreck galleries in Fremantle, Western Australia, while a replica of the ship is moored as a museum ship in Lilystad. So yeah, they remade the whole ship just so they could have like a replica of it. Okay, so I'm going to show you the Batavia coin one more time. And then we're going to move along. So that was my story, not my story, that was Wikipedia's story. But So Batavia was the first one um, in the shipwreck, Australia, Royal Australian Mint, not the Perth Mint, Royal Australian Mint. This is the first coin that came out, and it is actually a coin for $1, so. And it's the first ever triangle-shaped bu triangle bullion coin, bullion boolean boolean whatever it's the first ever one so that makes it pretty freaking awesome and this the antique version only has a thousand minted and so there's the 1629 there's the ship upside down but if you flip it this way it's sailing and then if you go this way it tells kind of the story of you know what went ha what went down after things went awry you know what I'm saying? So then we have this one. This is the ver. Someone told me to pronounce how to pronounce this right, but I forgot. So this is the Vergild Vergild Drake. 
So I'm assuming this one was made or sunk in 1656. Bro, look, after the Batavia, I could not read no more. I, I literally fell asleep twice, okay? I started trying to make this video three hours ago, okay? But you know what I did notice about this one? You see these little, like, sea lion kind of things? These, uh, uh, what, 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 Bob. Bob, t Bob called them marine dolphins, right? So check these. You see them? Okay, you see those guys? One here and one here. Now look at Bob's sticker. Doesn't that kind of remind you of that? Marine dolphins? That's what that reminded me of when I looked at it anyway. So, um, yeah, the Ver Varigold Drake. Let's see if we can get a better... Maybe if I zoom. If I move it away and zoom. Will that help you? It helps me. So yeah, these are all 3.9's fine. And now this is the one with the 20,000 mintage. But do you see the story on the back? The story... Oh, yeah. That was my face see and now what else what else that i read was like pretty much all of these ships were carrying silver mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you know what in the batavia they were talking some crazy stuff about like oh let's just take the silver and gold and go make our own little thing on the island and just start our own thing but that did not happen you see the detail in that that is crazy oh i love these I really do love these and they're super I think they're super rare look at this look at the detail on the antique one the varicle Drake the detail just pops more on the antique ones that's why I usually go for the antique see that that one now look at that look at the little windows on the ship Oh, I didn't notice there was a helmet. See, the helmet pops more on this one. I'll give you guys a good look. Let's look at the other side. Uh, da, 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 da. Look at that dude behind the waves. You see him? He's like, hey. I shouldn't make jokes about things like this. But it is very interesting, so I'm definitely going to put some links in the um, description for stuff to read about this. But yeah, the detail is just crazy. And we're only on the second coin, you guys. I got more. Are we only on the second coin? Yeah. Okay, okay. That is the Varigo Drake. Now we're going to move to the Zeitdorp. I'm going to call it the Zeitdorp. And guess what? These are both the plain ones, but guess what else? I have a little package over yonder that has the antiqued ones in it. And if you're still with me, you're going to get to see it. Dun, 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 I don't know why I got two of these. I ended up with two of these and just one of each of those, which I don't know. Like maybe I got smart. By the third one and was like, hey, these are hot. I should probably get more than one. So the date on this one is... Um, God, hold still. <sighs> the date... 1712. I think it's the date that it sunk. Because when I was reading, I think it said that it was like... Um, made in 1711. Because I thought that was a cool number. And uh, I don't remember reading 1712, but I didn't read that much on the Zeitdorp. But I will definitely leave the description and the, the 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 link in the description for you guys. But yo, you, you see the detail? My whole face is going to show in this. Jeez, sir, madam. Let's show her instead. It's the queen. 
Elizabeth II, Australia 2020. Oh, okay. So also, is this one 2022? Let's see. Let's look. Because it started in 2019. All right, so two came out in 2020, which was the, the Zeitdorp and the Varigal Drake. And then the Batavia came out in 2019, if you can see right there. Yeah, two, 2019. All right, you ready to crack this antique one open? Let's crack it. So I'm going to zoom out. I don't know. Maybe you guys all left. Maybe I'm just like talking to myself, you know, how I like to do. By the way, uh, for Christmas, my mom gave me these crazy old um, letter openers, which I think are awesome. They're totally weird and random, but whirlpool acceptance. Look, <laughs> open up your sit. Hey, pun. Open up your sails. Sailing. Huh? 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 No? No. Okay. Just checking. With whirlpool. Oh, another pun. I bet you there was a whirlpool when they went down. Nah, probably not like the Titanic, because it was on a coral reef that they went down on. So, and she gave me this one too, which is trippy. I wanted a brass one, is what I wanted. And I was looking on eBay for them. And then, you know, like, oh, it's just kind of cheap. I wonder if this is going to break when I try to... Um, yeah, I don't think that's going to work out. So, we're going to get out Um, my little bug. My little bug knife. And this is actually the honeybee. I had to look it up the other day. This knife I have is called the Honeybee by Spider Co. For the bug knives. And I um, was going to cut that open before the video. But that didn't happen. So. Okay. Oh, now they're screaming in the other room. That's nice. That's great. Okay, hold on. Let me get the... Let me get the papers out. We don't want that. I don't want to have to edit that much. It's going to be annoying. Yeah, that sounds like them. Alright, so... Did you guys have a lovely Christmas, or what? I'm just glad that nobody got in a fight on Christmas over here. At my house. Because there's usually some drama. But... Nope. Today, today the drama happened. It's probably why it took me three hours to make this video, because I was upset. But I'm not going to bleed out all over on YouTube about it and share my personal life with you. Because nobody wants to hear that. That crapola. No one wants to hear that. And no one wants to watch me struggle, do they? I don't know. Maybe I should be like Uncle Sal and just let it rip. Just rip it. Rip it and fight with it. And just do it. And just, yeah. <sighs> okay. So, these should be, hopefully, Bold did it right and sent me the right stuff. These are my lovelies. And they should both be, oh, hell yeah. That's freaking fire, man. Both of these. Do you see how much that pops? Oh, yes. Let me get my little spotlight. Oh, no. Spotlight has too much shine. Damn it. Okay. Well, maybe if I could just hold my camera still, that might help. All right. I'm going to hold one at a time. So you guys can look. This is the ant. All right, so this is the third. Actually, if you want to be technical, it's like the sixth release because they did the first three in plain and then they hit us with the twist with the antique versions. So let's see. I'm going to try and um, zoom it. Yeah, I think the zoom is working a little better than me just trying to hold the coin up. So 1712 this one is. You see how the ship is upside down? That's the story of it sinking. Try to get the light out of there. So you guys can really look at it. I love the little windows on it. And the bird. 
Is that a woman and a man holding those shields? Like, you see the, the, the detail is just crazy with these. Okay, now let's look at the story on this one. Um, this is 2022, not 2022, but 2020 also. Come on, man. My stupid ring light is in the way. All right. Bear with me, guys. I'm having a rough day. I really am. Now you see the skull and then the treasure. Yeah. There has been a lot of Australian shipwrecks. A lot. All in that area. Maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys want to see the edge. The edges are just smooth. That's part of the capsule. But, they're just smooth on all of them. Um, dude, I'm so glad I got these. When that fourth one drops, I have got to have it. I have to have it. Yeah, I really like these. I really like them because, like I said, they are the first bullion uh, coins with actual, you know, well, if it's a coin, it has it has value, right? It has a denomination. Maybe if I stand up, this will be better. But I don't know. Let's try. I don't hit the ring light. <laughs> the ring light. <laughs> In case you guys didn't see that. That's my ring light. Don't sue me. Alright. Look at all my ships, man. Look at that. Lucy Stax does not play. She really doesn't. It's not like it's a lot, but... Oh, let me tell you what else. Since we're all here. Maybe. Uh, the other thing is... I ordered these off Bold Precious Metals on pre-order right now. Sometimes when... Um, like I was saying, Bold. Bold Precious Metals. If you pre-order with them, then you get a better deal. Because once they start going and once they start like running out and getting low, they hike the price up. They really do. And then once they hit Atmex... It's a wrap. It's a wrap. You're going to be paying like a lot. At least $20, $30 more usually. That's what I've seen anyway. So the Batavia was the first one. Is this a Batavia? I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this stuff right. Who cares? Virgil Drake. Drake. Rick. Rick. Drake. Oh, that's the Zeit Dorp. Zeit Dorp. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Zeit Dorp. Mm-hmm, great. Uh, Zeit Dorp. Hello. What's this? A uh, very good drink. Mm -hmm. And Zeit Dorp. So, we're missing something. Oh, wait till you guys see this, what I'm going to add in here when I edit. I guess I did have to edit after all because I forgot I have something really funny to share with you that I took a picture of the other day. Yeah, that's all my all my shipwreck coins. So the video went way longer than expected. It's 30 minutes. So if you don't want to watch it, then you can fast forward or you could just go watch someone else's video. Okay. But I am very thankful and grateful to all of you who have recently subscribed. I, m my mind is blown. I'm like almost to like 350, I think. And that is insane. That is just insane, dude. Um, very, very happy. And I'm very grateful. And I know I probably don't really sound like myself today, but like I said, I was having kind of a bad time recently but hey the show must go on it must go on all right it's gotta go on it has to go on look what i got for christmas hee <laughs> isn't that cute okay anyway um oh and then today i got this for my hands 
because you know how my hands are all cracked and nasty and stuff. So I got this today, which is pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, again, thank you uh, to Troy Stacks for sending me this crazy hidden piece of one ounce silver. One Troy ounce from Troy Stacks. Time of Troy. Go check him out. And and uh, Oregon Stacker sent me this the other day. If you guys watched that video, I had this out to show my little Christmas presents. But um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, say goodnight. And maybe do another video. Who knows? Who knows? All right. I really, I love you all. I, dude, I do. I do. I'm so, my mind is blown. I can't believe that I have that many people who who actually want to talk to me and, and think I'm funny and, you know, but I'm pushing it now, huh? Because this is a little long. This is very, it's a long video. Long video. You know what else? I got gold backs laying over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. I have those too. Totally unrelated, but, you know, you know. So, yeah, um... Open up your sales with uh, Whirlpool mm -hmm. acceptance. Probably from the 70s. I'm not sure. And this is just random. I don't know. But uh, didn't work. Maybe it'll work for letters, not packages. So I have shipwreck coins. And let me know if you have some. Let me know what ones you have. Uh, let me know if you thought my video was too long. Let me know if your Christmas was great. Let me know if you saw my face in the coin. <sighs> and let me know if you too think the show must go on, no matter how you feel. Because that was pretty much the message for me today. It has to keep going. No matter how I feel. No matter how many times the kids open the door and say, Mom, do you want a cookie? Mom, can I have a cookie? But Mom, I got you a cookie. But hey, Mom, 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 Mom. My name's not Mom. Okay, changing it. Dude, that side door pops like no other, son. No other. Look at it. And I have two. All right, I'm going to go. <sighs> Happy Saturday night, guys. This is what I did. <laughs> this is what I did on my Saturday night. All right, I'll be here all week. Thanks.